With Angels of the Zeremon coming out in April 27th, we have a little over about a week and a half to actually get prepared and ready for the quest. If you've completed the new war, you're ready and good to go for Angels of the Zeremon. But if you haven't, hey, maybe you want to get some stuff done, maybe you want to get prepped and ready, so that's what this video is for. Without further ado, let's talk about Angels of the Zeremon prep. So Angels of the Zeremon is the new mainline quest coming on April 27th. It will be a direct sequel to the new war, and it will require you to have all the previous mainline quests done. So hopefully that's not too shocking. A lot of new quests will be and continue on with the main storyline. So uh, yeah, you'll definitely have to get that done. A lot of people have been putting off getting a Necromech or getting a Railjack and not doing the new war, but I'm here to tell you, you're definitely going to need those. It is now a required part of Warframe to continue on in the game, and it will continue to do so, seemingly at least. You need a Necromech for one section in the new war, and you need a Railjack for one section in the new war. You are 100% locked out of the new war until you get that done. So, I'm just here to tell you, it's going to always be like that, get ready. But, rejoice, Warframe was nice enough to give us this little panel right here, Angels of the Zermon. It lets you know it's a new story quest, a new war quest prereq, and they will be streamlining the road to the new war with updates, so maybe if you're a newer player, they will be making it a little better, a little easier, less painful, depending where you are at in the game right now. Might just not be feasible trying to get to the new war and completing that in a week and a half, and it's not like there's anything wrong with that, right? It does take a lot of time, the new war is the current last quest in the main storyline, so naturally you have to get through all of the previous mainline quests. Yeah, it all takes some time, but hey, that's what you need, Railjack, Necromech, and you have to be all done the new war. If you haven't done that, yeah, you're gonna be a little shit out of luck, so unfortunate there. Other than that, let's just go over what builds you may need. I would recommend just having slightly better operator amp. The th way Warframe does mainline quests is they make it very easy. If you've completed the new war, if you've completed any of the previous ones, you'll know that the max enemy level is only ever like 20 or 30. So as far as gear checks, almost doesn't matter at all for your Railjack, for your Necromech, for your Warframe, or for your operator. Straight up, so far, barely freaking matters in Warframe, and it's kind of hilarious. I will be just running my Protea, nothing really too different here. I'm just running Peculiar Bloom here because it looks pretty these days and I just don't care anymore. And yeah, I'll be running this, is great. I will be taking my Exceltra, it's overall a great gun, does great damage, and I got lucky with this crit uh, Riven, so I'll just bring my Exceltra as always. There's going to be Sentience, but you don't need the Paracesis or anything special for the Sentience, as they're weak. I will be bringing my Tenet Psychron, as it is a weapon that I like, does good status, infinite ammo as it regenerates instead of actually using up a magazine, so like this one here. And then I'll be using my Mios here with this general non-combo build as I don't imagine I'll have a chance to really build up combo in the new war, or sorry, in Angels of the Zeramon questline, much like if it was like the new war. There's barely any meaningful combat, so it's best to just build to quickly kill things in like one or two hits anyways. So yeah, that's what I'm just going with. Nothing too special, right? And then we have all of this stuff. Oddly enough, Arcwing doesn't matter too much, but hey, I just have it maxed out with this. Arcwing mods are ages old and don't, you know, who cares, right? And then I'm just leveling stuff here. None of this really matters, just max it out with damage. This would be enough for the new war, and probably Angels of the Zeramon. This too, if they have any sort of Arcwing features in there. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But other than that, your build as long as it exists and you can play the game, you should be good to go, okay? The next thing I wanted to talk about, though, is Warframe's quest guide. 
Yeah, like, like I said, if you are newer to the game, you might not have done a lot of quests, and you might need to get a lot of mainline quests done. So, that's where this quest guide comes in. It pretty much just takes you through going through a lot of the quests that you need to and should do in the game, right? Just tells you how to do it, how to get it all done. It's just warframe.com slash game slash quest guide, and then, you know, as you go down or if you click on one... It'll like change there, but yeah, that's the website there. Pretty simple, good way to do it. I just wanted to bring attention to this because I'm not too sure if people were aware. Right, for example, you go into the game. Vor's Prize, wake up Tenno. This is the very first real quest you get. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? No, we don't use void keys anymore, sorry. The Grenier Queens have dispatched the ruthless Captain Vor to grow their empire. Part and parcel of his mission is to elimination of you, the Tenno Threat. Awaken from the cryo sleep, rebuild the segments of your orbiter, and free yourself from Vor's clutches. Beautiful, right? And then it gives you the full rundown for it. I'm not going to be doing this for every quest because, you know, it mainly depends on where you're at in the quest, but... Right. Requirements. First login. Note, if you skip this quest when the quest system was introduced, it will be considered completed and will not affect future quest unlocks. So you might already even be done it, right? Tells you where to go, right? Go to missions, earth, cross, raid, renew settlements, blah, 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 blah. And then check navigation, know where to go next. Simple. Want to know? Quickly just gives you a rundown on some information. Lets you know what you're going to need to do. And then lets you know all of the items you're going to get, right? Since it's like the starter intro quest, it's pretty much done if you skipped it or you're already done it right nothing too amazing there and then once awake ah right a little bit of a little bit of more questy quests it just takes you through the main quest line one by one i think warframe has their in-game guide that kind of leads you to this already but hey it's a little online forum kind of if you want to take a look you can just look at everything right it's a plethora of information about all of the quests if you truly need it. It's not super spoilery here, right? You just see a bunch of stuff. But if you go and continue further, maybe look through the Warframe wiki, yeah, there's a chance you'll find some spoilers, right? Chains of Harrow. It's such a good way to just throw you into all of the quests and give you a quick TLDR, how to run it, how to do it all, and so that you know, like, what some of your rewards are. But I believe they stopped telling you what the rewards are as a lot of them start becoming, like, a little spoilery, right? That's why you he see here, a unique addition to your arsenal, complete the sacrifice to discover its full potential, a weapon of orc and origin, right? Nice. A blueprint to craft melee weapon known as the Sentient Slayer. Ooh, really awesome weapon. I wonder what that would be. And then, yeah, Rising Tide. It doesn't have the new war up here because I believe they got this ready in preparation of the new war. I could be wrong on that. Yeah, there's no, like, dating here, so that's whatever. But it'll give you a ton of info. The Rising Tide is the one that will get you your Railjack, so this is definitely now mandatory. Definitely a lot of information, a lot of quests to do, so don't rush it. Warframe's not going anywhere. The game's been out for nine years, right? My build, even for my Protea, is going to be a little bit overkill because the missions are just so calm and so easy. The new update's going to bring a lot of things, and for us, like, longer-term players, a lot of new missions, so it'll be great for us. But if you're newer, yeah, just take your time, make your way through the quests, do them one by one, and you should get there eventually. But if you like speedrunning it, and hey, gung-ho, go for it. You could get it done fast, too, if you want to speedrun it, right? There are both sides of the coin, and both are equally viable, right? Speedrun, take your time. Do what you will. But hey, that's it for this video. If you liked it, like, sub, favorite, check out Twitch, YouTube, subscribe to all the random social medias, and you can use the Epic Games creator code PUPSKER if you want to support the channel and ever buy anything or grab any of the free games on the Epic Game Store. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.